human. Now, uh, the director, Truth Lee, he cannot be here today because he's in Sarajevo at another film festival, unfortunately. But uh, I worked with Lee uh, on this film as an ad advisor, and also I did some cinematography in a few of these, uh, in, a, in a few of the scenes in the film. And personally, I've always been very fascinated by uh, Jan Litt, by his poems, his films, and his lyrical Tour de France commentaries. <laughs> but my fascination doesn't stop with his, uh, these products that he brought into the world. I think my uh, fascination is also of his life his personality and his ability to be passionate and always present. And I guess a lot of us in this room share this fascination. Uh, quite a number, quite a lot of films have actually been made about Jörn Litt, most of them short ones. And most of them are made out of this fascination that I mentioned. Often it seems the uh, author of these portraits become more or less attracted to Litt and his ways. And they become somewhat seduced maybe and start to imitate Jan Litt. Maybe they tend to want to be like Litt himself. And this often infiltrates the film, or newspaper article, or other written portrait for that matter, in a not too uh, constructive way. With this film that we're gonna see now, The Seduced Human, director Truls Lee also had fascination as a starting point. But I think Truls is not only fascinated by Litt, he's all, also astonished by him. Astonished by the way Lit lives his life, the decisions he takes and the consequences that these decisions imply. I think this is what the film is about. Lee himself calls it a moral inquiry. And moral is exactly what is at stake. How does moral interfere, if at all, with Lit's aesthetic way of living? And can Lee succeed to question Lit about morale and ethics? Or does the philosopher Lee himself become attracted by Lit, the seducer? But now I would recommend that you just forget everything that I said and decide for yourselves. Let's run the seduced human. <laughs> 